everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video where we're going to go and make another one of the Christmas soaps. Now for us down in Australia, Christmas is usually about being at the beach and sunshine and all of that sort of thing. So I decided to make this soap based on the idea that Santa is going to be flying across a lot of beaches on his way to visit the kids here in Australia. So today we're gonna go and make Aussie beach Christmas. Let's start by making the embeds. All right, so let's get on to making the embeds for this soap. I'll be using the Pimp My Soap soap dough. I'll be using some gold, I've got some red, and I've also got some espresso as well. And I'll be using that with the I Dream In Soap soap extruder, the large extruder she has, and the discs. So for the discs, I have the Santa Slay set. We've got the bottom, which I'm gonna do in gold, and then the top is in red. And I've also got this little reindeer, which I'm going to do using that espresso. So first up, I'm going to do the base of the sleigh in the gold. Um, I have got a little bit here, but I'm gonna combine it with some new gold as well, because I am going to make two loaves of this. I'm gonna need a fair bit of soap dough to create this embed. Let's get this one unwrapped. This is all wrapped up in biodegradable film as well. So when you finish with the soap dough, this can either be put into the compost bin or if it goes into the regular bin, um, it will break down. So let's get that unmolded or unwrapped. <laughs> let's get this other bit of gold out. And I'm going to mix the two together so we get enough. And one of the tricks when you are using the soap dough in the large extruder is to make sure that this is all well pushed together so there's no air pockets in the soap dough so that it pushes through nicely. Let's pull this back a bit so we can get some soap in there. Perfect. Pop our soap in. As I said, we're gonna do the bottom piece first. I'm gonna pop that into the base and screw that onto our extruder. Now that's on, it's time to get it extruded. All right, as you can see, I had a bit of an accident while doing that. What I'm going to do is just trim the end off like so careful with this cutter. I've actually got a marking on my bench to tell me how long my um, embellishments here or my embeds need to be. I'm gonna push this down flat on the surface. And get it all nice and straight. All right, now that we've got that, I'm gonna give, cut that like so. Oh, let go. Right, so that is the bottom of the sleigh. Let's get the other piece looked at. It's a little bit short. I think even if I've got, well, if we get that piece on there, it's gonna be long enough. So what we might do is I might pop it back through the extruder is going to be the best way. Now I've got my second base piece. Let's get some red conditioned up and we will make the top part of the sleigh.
Okay, so now that we've got the parts done, what I'm gonna do is flip this red one over and I've got some distilled water in my pot here and I'm just going to paint down the middle here with the water and this will help the two layers stick together. Um, when it does come time to stick in the layers together, have a look at the discs to see which way they should be going together. So when you actually look at the discs here, you can see you've got the long bit needs to go with the sort of shorter bit here. So this is my long bit, that's my short bit. So let's flip that over and then they should kind of just sit into each other like so. I'm just going to go all the way along, make sure it's sitting into that groove and that water will help them stick together. Just pushing down gently to make sure it's adhered but not squishing that design. The end's a little bit squished but that's okay because that's going to get chopped off when we go to put it in the soap. And there is the first of the sleighs. I'm just making sure that it's right all the way along, which it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna put the other one together and then we'll make some reindeer. Right, now to do the little reindeer, I am going to be using the Fimo extruder tool. And again, the disc is from I Dream in Soap. So I'm gonna grab this one and get it all set up. So we've got our little end piece, pop that in screw it on. All right, so I'm gonna give that a bit of a condition just to get it nice and soft. Best thing when you're working with soap dough is to always keep it wrapped up. Um, if it gets um, access to air, it's going to dry. If it gets in contact with humidity, um, it's going to go soggy and disgusting. So always best to keep your soap dough wrapped up in between uses. Let's get this rolled out so it's thin enough to go into our extruder. And I'm going to hopefully be doing two reindeer per soap. So we'll be doing four of these. I'm suspecting I will need to go and get myself another pack of the espresso soap dough. All right, so this particular embed is a little bit more delicate and needs to set up a little bit more before we can really play with it too much. So I am gonna actually cut it so that it is longer than what I need. Cause you can see when you cut it, it kind of squishes it a little bit. But once this is set up a bit more, um, it won't squish when I go to cut the ends and you'll be able to really see this reindeer in the soap. So what I'm gonna do is go and put this one away. I'm going to extrude myself another three of them and then we will get on to making the soap. So that I could actually trim this to size, I did leave this overnight so that it was open to the air to really firm it up. And then I was able to cut it and get that really nice cut of the reindeer. And now that we've got both of our embeds there ready to go, or all three of them, we're gonna move on to making this soap. Now this soap has got lots of steps to it and I can tell you it is a messy soap to make. How do I know? Because I've already made almost like a test run today because I've got two of all the soaps. I decided to make one in the shop today while it was quiet and then I'm making the second one on camera and it was really good because I actually got to see exactly what I needed to do. So hopefully it will go nice and smoothly here on the camera. So I've got my oil and my lye water. I'm going to mix them together until they just come to emulsification um, and not into a trace. So this gives me the longest possible work time. Okay, so I'm going to be working in layers and what I'm gonna do just off camera is I'm going to pour off about 1.4 kilos of this soap into another bucket. 
Okay, I have got that separated out. Now for this bit, we're gonna separate it out a bit more. I have got in here a concoction that I use to make my seashells. I'll leave a link to the video with how I actually make my seashell color. We're gonna make this into a bit of sand. And last time I poured this, I did too much. I think that will be enough. And then we're gonna split the rest of this up between some white and these two blues. I've got some aquamarine and some corn flour. And I'm gonna have more of the blues than I'm gonna have of the white. So I'll get all of this, oh, split out. I think I poured too much into my white, but we'll work around it. Let me get these scraped out. Oh, it should all work out in the end. All right, so I'm gonna pour my fragrance into this one here. This is Calache Beach from off of Lux Aroma or Aroma. And it's a really, really nice fragrance. Got that very nice beachy smell. And although it's not necessarily a Christmas smell, um, a lot of people here do spend their Christmases down the beach and I just thought this was gonna be perfect for this soap. So I'm gonna give that a bit of a mix. Now it doesn't race too quickly, but it does set up. So I'm gonna grab my mold and I've just got, this actually is a clean cloth and no, it doesn't look like it, but it is clean. I've just pulled it out of the cupboard. I'm gonna fold it up and then prop my mold up just a bit. And then I'm going to use this one and just pour myself a very thin layer of what I hope will look like a beach. And I'm just gonna grab my, um, my spatula here and just kind of wave it along the edge here just to try and get it looking a little bit more beachy so all the soaps will be just slightly different. Right, so I know that this isn't gonna take too long to actually set up. So I'm gonna start stirring in this blue and I'm gonna hand stir it because I do want this to stay fairly fluid. And this does, as I said, it's not a racer, but it does set up quickly once you stop moving the soap. And I wanna try and get one of my sort of dirty pores going in here. So that's, that one's mixed up. So that was aquamarine. This one is corn flour. And then we're gonna grab that white as well. So now we're gonna pour in a bit of fragrance into each of these. I know that this one doesn't, well, I'm pretty sure it didn't discolor. It didn't discolor the last time I used it. All right, so that's in there. Gonna give it a mix. And then I'm gonna grab a bigger um, jug and we're gonna do a dirty pour into this one. So we get that really nice ocean look. All right, let's grab our leftover soap here. I am just gonna give this a bit of a quick pulse because it's just been sitting there and when it's emulsified, it just goes a little bit funny. So I give it a bit more of a mix just to bring it all back together. That should do. And now we're gonna separate it out for some night colors. And this is where the fun really begins because I need to get the embeds into the soap. And as I said, this does set up a bit quicker on me as well. I have got some Midnight Blue, which is a Nature's Garden one. I have, not Nature's Garden, Nurture Soap, sorry. I have an Egyptian Blue, which I've had from off Aussie Soap um, Supplies and I have got some black mica as well. I think this one was, yeah, no, that was the blue. Let me get this bled out, making such a mess, but I was, I was prepared for the mess. All right, so we've got our mold. I can see that's already set up. I'm gonna start pouring this night sky in. Pour just a wee bit too much there, so let's shuffle it down. I'm going to start with my sleigh. I'm gonna make sure I've got it pointing the right way, which I do. I'm gonna pop that in. I'm just gonna rock it down to make sure that the soap is hopefully filling up in those gaps, but not so far down as I think I have done, that it's touching the water. All right, 
going to pour in just a bit more on this side to make sure it fills in underneath that sleigh there. Grab one of our reindeer, make sure it is pointing the right way. And I'm gonna slot that in. And again, I'm trying to make sure that as I'm pushing it in, I'm getting soap into all the little crevices that are in this particular um, extruded shape. And pour some more soap. Oops, <laughs> we're getting thick. All right, we're gonna grab our other reindeer again, making sure it's pointing the right way. Pop this one in, like so. said this is a rather messy soap to make layers always are layers and scrape soaps they are always the messiest ones to make but it's always well worth it and I can't wait to see what these look like on the inside but just to finish off the top here first thing I'm going to be using are some mega stars from pimp my soap these are biodegradable sparkle and these stars are awesome they are just so large but because they are large, you do need to place them to make sure that you're not going to cut them. Well, they won't actually cut, but to make sure that you're not going to drag them with your soap cutter. So all I'm going to do is place a large star on ooh, each side of our soap bar like this. I love these stars and it's really hard to actually see it on the camera but they've got tiny little reflective surfaces on them so not only are they gold but they do shimmer and shine in the light as well. So we get one each onto these. This is a little um, two gram pot and there are just so many, yeah so many stars for two grams. I've already done one soap um, with these doing it exactly the same way and we're just about to do two and I've, I've not even used half of the pot so <laughs> all right just a couple more one more on there two four six eight nine two oh that one slid off three six nine all right so now that we've got our mega stars on I am now going to be using some Midas touch with the little glitter brush and oh just gonna sprinkle it on earlier on I was trying to do this and I had this big gust of um, wind come through the shop and I had glitter go everywhere but on the soap <laughs> now I've got it going all over the soap all right let's do just a little bit more because this is such a beautiful gold and again, this is a biodegradable plant-based glitter. So it is not harmful to our waterways and it will actually eventually dissolve back down to nothing. So there it goes. It's such a simple top on there, but it is so beautiful as well. But it's gonna be the inside of this, which is going to be the showstopper. So I'm gonna leave this one set overnight and then we'll be back in just a moment and we'll take a look and see what we've got on the inside. Okay, we are ready to cut into Aussie Beach Christmas and I am loving how dark that blue has gone. It's so hard to get a really nice deep navy color blue, but somehow I managed to do it in this soap. Right, I'm gonna get this one lined up onto Ida and I'm gonna make sure that the stars are in between all of the lines so that we don't do any damage. That is looking pretty good. Let's cut through and see what we've got on the inside. And this has been left for a bit longer than what I usually like to leave it. So it's pretty tough. So we'll start down at this end and that 
here's the inside of Aussie Beach Christmas and I absolutely love how it's come up. Those little reindeer are so super cute and the level of detail that you actually do get in them, it's just absolutely amazing how they come through that extruder tool. That one looks like it's got a bit of surf about to break up on the beach. Really, really happy with how it's come up and love that deep dark blue sky for night. It's not so dark that you can't see the embellishments, but you are getting that sort of impression that Santa is flying over the ocean about ready to deliver his presents to all the Aussie kids. Really, really happy with how it's come up. So here is another one and there is the star with that little glitter on the top. So really, really pleased and absolutely loving this fragrance. It's definitely not a Christmas fragrance, but it is a very beachy sort of fragrance, which I think fits the, um, fits the design really, really well. Cause I really wanted a fragrance that really reflected Australian Christmas over here. So let's have a look at one more. Oh, this one doesn't want to come off. There we go. So these extruder discs from Lisa are just so easy to use and they just give such a beautiful image in your soaps. So go and check her out. She does ship worldwide and her shipping rates are actually really reasonable if you are just ordering her extruder discs. And she does have free shipping when you spend a certain amount as well. So go and check her out. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made my Aussie Beach Christmas. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.